Uh, hello. So today we're going to be looking at proof. Uh, now on this specification, there's going to be three different types of proof that we might be looking at. We might be looking at proof by deduction, which is where we'll use an algebraic argument to prove a statement, which is what we're going to look at here. We might also be asked to do what's called proof by exhaustion. Now, in that situation, there'll be a limited number of values that we can use. So we'll prove by trying every single one of them values and show that something is either true or not true. Or we might be asked to do a disproof by example. So that might be we're asked to show that something is incorrect. Um, we'll do that by using a value that shows that it is not the right thing. So here we're going to look at proof by deduction. So we're going to use an algebraic argument. So if we read the question, it says prove algebraically that the difference between the squares of any two consecutive odd numbers is always a multiple of eight. The most important thing here is understanding the language. So if we look at the question, difference means we're going to be doing some taking away. Squares means we're going to be squaring some things. And we've got consecutive odd numbers. Now, quite often when we're proven by deduction, we have to be able to produce algebraic expressions for odd numbers, for even numbers, or consecutive numbers, or consecutive odd or even numbers like we are here. So generally speaking, if we wanted an even number, well, an even number is defined as something as a multiple of two. So an even number would be 2n for some value of n, for some integer n. OK, so every even number can be written as that form. So, for example, the number 10 is 2n, where n is equal to 5. Now, an odd number is always either one more or one less than an even number. So a general form for an odd number is 2n plus 1, or 2n minus 1 would also work. OK, now we want here two consecutive odd numbers. So if my first odd number is 2n plus 1, well, to get the next odd number, I would simply add 2. So my next one will be 2n add 3. So these are consecutive odd numbers for some value of n. And we're doing it because we're using algebra here and we don't know what the value of n is. It could be any two consecutive odd numbers. So we've got our odd numbers. Next, we need to square them, and then we need to find the difference, and then we need to show that that's a multiple of 8. So first job here will be to square them. So we've got 2n plus 1 squared. Simple enough bracket that we should be able to expand quite easily. So we're going to have 4n squared plus 4n plus 1. And then the second one, 2n plus 3 squared. It's going to give me 4n squared plus 12n plus 9. OK, so I've got my squares of my consecutive odd numbers. I now need to do, find the difference. I'm just going to rewrite these, but the other way around. Because we're going to do the larger one, subtract the smaller one. So 9 take away 1 will leave me with 8. 12n take away 4n will give me 8n. And 4n squared take away 4n squared is nothing. So that's my final expression there. So the difference between the squares of any two consecutive odd numbers can be written as 8n plus 8. We then just need to show that that's always a multiple of 8. Now, we can do it from here by explaining that both of these are divisible by 8. Or we could do it by factorising. That is 8 into m plus 1. OK, so therefore, it is a multiple of 8. And we're done.